Okay guys, welcome back to module number three, which is called adding media. Now, just like the previous workshops, what I want you to do is have your phone in front of you with your app ready to go and have this on a screen so you can play, pause and do. Now this particular one, because it's a bit more complex, I'm gonna show you a short video of me doing it and then I'm gonna go through a couple of quick uh, steps to show you how to duplicate what I just did. So, as I said, it's called adding media. This is a bit more advanced than just creating a my site or creating a playlist. This is about going and grabbing other media that you can add in there yourself. So, it's module number three, as I said, for your Numi Command Center app. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is where you can find and then um, add media. Now, on the screen, you'll see it says Numi New You. Now, there are many Facebook groups in the world referring to Numi, but just be aware, from a security and safety perspective, the only one that's run by the company that isn't team specific to any specific teams, maybe your upline, could be crossline, this is the only one you know that compliance has looked over absolutely every single uh, testimonial. So you know when someone adds them in here, they've already given permission. You don't have to ask whether you can take that and use it, okay? So let's have a quick listen to me going through how you do it, and then we'll come back with a play, pause, and do workshop in two simple steps. When I scroll down, this is the Numi New You official group. As I said, the only one you can guarantee has had compliance go through everything, and you know that every single one of the things we're looking at is pre-approved. I'm gonna go down to one that I really like, because some people take before and after photographs in different lighting, which kind of, you know, I know the product's working, but it, it kind of diminishes the credibility. Whereas if you look at this one here, this lady's been involved in skincare for years. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going to take a screenshot. If you don't know how to do that on an iPhone, you press the up button on your phone uh, at the same time for volume, at the same time as you press the power button and click. You'll see that I've just taken a photograph. If I tap on it, I can then take it down to just take the photographs, which is all I want out of Tracy's testimonial, and then click done. And that photograph is sitting right now in my um, phone uh, photographs. Then I'm going to go and click on all the wording that she's used, and I'm gonna hold my finger down, and the copy button comes up. I'm gonna copy it and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a second. So now we've copied the wording, we've taken a photograph and trimmed it down of the, the picture with the amazing before and afters in perfect lighting, which shows there's no manipulation through lighting. Then we go back and we're going to open up the Numi um, app command center on the bottom right hand corner. When the app comes up, I'm then going to go to the bottom of the screen where it says share. And then at the top of the screen, I'm going to go to Uploads, which is the second one across. Now, top right hand corner, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do this later. <laughs> top right hand corner, plus button, and then Create Media. If I click on Create Media, now I can upload a photograph. So the but button on the left hand side, Upload Media. I'm going to upload the photograph we just took. So there it is. And then I'm going to put in a paste of the wording that was said, okay? And then I'm gonna put in here, great before and after, thanks Tracy. And by doing that, and you can put some emojis in, whatever you like, all right? By doing that, then tapping somewhere else on the screen, <clears throat> I can then scroll down and then hit the save button agree that this post does not contain any income claims or product medical claims hit agree and of course it's going to upload and then a few seconds later you will see that we now have a great before and after photograph there now you see on the plus button on the right hand side that there's a little plus button if I click it I can add this to my my site or I can add this to a playlist okay so right now I'm just gonna add it to my My Site. And then you'll see it in the bottom, it says this has been added to your My Site. If I now go back to the Home button and I click on My Site, this is, if I preview it, this is my My Site, what it looks like right now. And you'll notice that I've now added an extra photograph onto my My Site. 
okay? In addition to everything else I've got there. So that's how you can add something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with a push play example how to do that now. All right, so there you go. That's a quick example, but I know that a lot of baby boomers and technically challenged people go, oh, that was too quick. So the idea is we've got a uh, play pause um, workshop we're going to go through now. So I want you to get a phone in your hand and we're going to go through this example, okay? So first step is actually finding compliant media to use and add to your app. So it's step one of two, okay? So the first step, as I said before, is on your phone right now, open up your Facebook app and then visit the official Numi New You Facebook group. Now, we say finding compliant media to use, I'll just warn you one more time. Yes, there is many different Facebook groups out there that mention Numi, but none of them are company run. So you know that you're guaranteed for safety, security and compliance and not perpetuating a non-compliant testimonial that if you take them out of here, it's got a thumbs up. If you take them elsewhere, we never know. And you could be perpetuating something that's non-compliant and get yourself into strife. So stick to this one where you take them out of here. Um, so that's first step is go to Numi New You, the official community. If you're not in there, make sure you join. By the way, to join it, if you don't answer the questions and agree to the group rules, you won't get in the group. So you've got to who, who invited you or what's your member number and then agree to group rules and you'll be in in a flash. So then secondly, scroll down in that group um, to find a testimonial that you would like to use. Like I said, I use Tracy's because, you know, we've got some spectacular products, but, you know, sometimes some of the photographs, people have lighting from above, which shows more wrinkles and then one in the front that doesn't. And it's not as credible as this. This one's super credible. So find one that you're happy with. It could be a testimonial, a before and after, whatever you like, anything that's in that page you could be using. And once you've found it, the next step, once you've clicked the photograph is we want you to click on and copy the wording and take a screenshot of the photo you want to use. Now, remember what I showed in the first one, you can rewind it if you like. And if you do not understand how to do a screen um, shot with your phone, ask someone who's younger. They'll show in an iPhone, it's the up button on one side and this button on the other side and bang, it just took a photograph. And that's now been put into my photos and then I can resize it. So we've showed you that on the video before, but that's the two steps to do. Step number one, copy the wording by tapping on it and then click the copy button. Number two, um, go to the photo, do the screen capture and then resize it and put it into your photo album, ready to use later. So that was the first step. And now the second step we're gonna show you is how to add this media to your app. But before we do, this is a play, pause, do workshop. So right now press pause on this video, on your big screen and go do what I just said. If you don't understand, play it back again till you get it right in the first step. And then and only then go to step number two of two, which is this one, which is how to add this new media to your app. Okay, so firstly, open up your Numi app and then click on the share button at the bottom. Now, if you can't see the share button and you're going, hang on, where's the share button? Maybe you haven't hit home yet. So hit home, then find the share button at the bottom and then click on the share button. When you do that, it'll bring it up. And then I want you to click on uploads at the top of the screen. Again, you can scroll across and see what's on the top of the screen with your finger, but you'll see uploads at the top of the screen. Once you have that, you'll see there is a plus button at the top right hand of the page, and we want you to click that. Now, once you've clicked that, when you do, this option comes up at the bottom with three different options, create media, create trackable link, and create playlist, okay? So if you wanna click on create media, then what it's going to do, it's going to come to this screen and it'll ask you to click on upload media. And that's where you'll go and pick the photograph that's in your photo album of your phone, select it and upload it. OK, in addition, once you've done that, the next screen that comes up once the photo is there is we then want you to add a title and paste the wording that you've already copied. Okay, so that's the photograph at the top. Write in a title, whatever the title is you want to appear, and then paste the wording. That way you've got Tracy's actual words. You don't have to modify anything. Her words are sitting there in your new media. Okay. Finally, once you've done that, save. And guess what? Voila, ta-da, what do you want to say? It's now in your app. 
So in order to use that, it's sitting in the uploads, but you haven't completed the final step. The final step is we want you to click the plus button at the next to that media and select where do you want it. Do you want this on your my site? Do you want this in a playlist? Where do you want it? You could put as many of these bits of media from the new me, new you Facebook group as you like into this and add them to your app and use them in any way you wish. With that in mind, that was very quick, two steps. You could push, play and pause and I'd suggest you pause right now and complete that final step. But finally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very quickly show you what this could actually look like. So I've just added this into my own app and I put it on my My Site page. So let me bring up My Site right now so that you can actually see exactly what it looks like now that I've done it. So here is an example of my My Site. You've seen this in a previous one. Well, guess what? Ta-da! Part of my My Site now includes Tracy with her before and after amazing feedback. So there's the photograph. And there's her testimonial written in her own language. How fantastic is that? So ladies and gentlemen, I hope this has been really helpful. This is just module three out of our play, pause and do workshops, which are paced to make sure anyone of any technological uh, challenge or age group can master it. So I look forward to seeing you in the next tip. All the best.